Hey guys, in this video we'll be talking all about brown algae. So it's one of the most common algae that occurs in our aquariums. So in this video I'll be covering what is brown algae, how does it come to exist in your aquarium, and third is how to eliminate or to prevent or to control brown algae. So let's get on to it. Okay guys, so what is brown algae? Brown algae, also known as diatoms. So diatoms is actually a unicellular organism. So they can breed themselves, they can multiply themselves. And the best part of this brown algae, they are dependent on light. So they does photosynthesis. So meaning they consume uh, CO2 and uh, produce oxygen in your tank. So it's actually a good thing. But it's an eyesore in our aquarium. So these algae uh, fall into phytoplankton that means they provide food for many of these uh, fish species and also like corals if, in, if it's in the sea so the question is are they bad so to to answer that question we have to look it into uh, look at the hobby's perspective fish perspective they're actually not bad but problem is they are an eyesore they, they pretty much cover everything if you um, if your aquarium is not balanced so the simple answer is if you see diatom actually happening in your tank that means your aquarium it's not balanced yet that means not stabilized the parameters the, the nutrients that is in the uh, aquarium and for if you if you have plants in your aquariums they will cover all of your plants so when that happens your plant may suffer and eventually die off so that is bad so they are not uh, toxic to the fishes but they are not toxic to your plants but they can smother smother your plants and suffocate them from light so that the plants will not be able to do photosynthesis and your plant might, might die so uh, usually there is a phase in every aquarium that will go through these diatoms okay there is a phase uh, this phase that almost most of my aquariums have to go through it and usually it will take around two to four months if you if you don't interfere you let it run its course it will take two to four months to clear off but how do we get rid of this diatom how do we prevent it firstly we got to know their source why are they coming so diatoms food is actually of course is light but if there is no there are no food source for them they won't be able to uh, use the light to create the, to synthesize the food for them to use so these are unicellular organism that has glass or silicate membrane it's very special so they need silica and phosphorus to survive so if you have rocks or if you have certain biomedia most of the ceramic or even sintered glass biomedia contains silica so if you have no rocks but you have this biomedia you are actually fueling the um, diatom blooms in your aquarium so that is one of the reasons new aquariums have diatom blooms so <clears throat> so these items in your aquarium will leach all this uh, silica and this phosphorus into the aquarium and your diatom will be the first organisms to use up all the silica so once it's over it will eventually die off so of course nobody wants to wait two to four months for it to take its course so what are the faster way to eliminate these diatoms so here are some ways that i'll be sharing with you which i have used for this aquarium i will show you some clips later how bad was the diatom bloom in this aquarium which i left it for two or three weeks but it got worse and worse because my light duration is about eight hours or eight to ten hours so if you can see the clip now you can see all over the base on my on the surface of the glass i managed to use the uh, um, glass scraper and clean it off but on the base there were no way i'm gonna put my hands and scrub it off so here is the options that we have to clear these items to clear these diatoms okay guys so option one how to eliminate is by using a silica remover so if there is no silica in your aquarium to begin in, begin with 
your uh, the diatom blooms will not be possible or will be very minimal so what type of silica remover you should use so i've used uh, roa force uh, the brand itself from Royal roa force you can just run it into a through a, a reactor and let it run in in a one two a few days i think three or four days all of the silica will be gone and your tank will be silky uh, smooth those guys will be eliminated because there is no silica source silica is their main source because these guys are unicellular organisms that is coated or the shell of the diatoms are actually made out of silica glass yes this diatom is made out of glass so if you remove that they won't be able to survive and eventually they will die and option two is my favorite method is using algae eater fish so these are mostly hit and miss but if you get the right fish or even though if you get the right fish and that fish is acclimatized to eat pellets you might have some issues so if you find the fish that is has evidence that has been eating algae then you should go for it so here are the fishes some of the fishes uh, that you can use for the uh, to eat this diatom so I'm, I'm using a uh, flag tail for this aquarium in 24 hours you saw the clip earlier in 24 hours it managed to wipe off all of my diatoms of course it comes back but this guy is really hard working so flag tails of course you can't put flag tails in aquascape those guys get 12 to 14 inch long so I know some aquascape uh, tanks are only two or four feet so in these guys also it's soft leaves so you gotta careful by choosing your algae eater of course there are smaller uh, algae eaters such as um, bristle nose catfish uh, or siamese tiger algae eater uh, chinese algae eater nerit snail snails are very famous in the aquascaping uh, um, hobby where they used to control algae and amano shrimp and four uh, monster monster tanks flag tail or even the albedo common placo will do because those guys get big so you you won't have any accidents what happen in the aquarium and they're quite uh, tame or calm as well they are not non not that aggressive okay so um this is the method that i use and the third method third option you have is to control your lighting so during your cycle or early days in your when you just start up your aquarium maybe in one or two weeks try not to turn off your light or control your light or reduce your light reduce from eight to four hours so you might minimize the diatom blooms and they will slowly fade off of course <clears throat> three of these options can be run concurrently so if you want faster results you can run concurrently and eliminate them by controlling the light using fish eating uh, uh, algae eating fish and also silica remover so for me i just use um, option three and option two which is control the light and algae eating um, fish so um so now you need to understand what type of aquarium you are going to keep or you're you're planning to keep so before you come in before you choose any of these three options most importantly these diatoms are harmless to fish so if if you saw it suddenly bloom in in 24 hours do not panic take your time to think and then choose the option that you want that i said earlier okay so that's about it for this video and here is a fun fact about diatoms okay if you guys didn't know yet diatoms are, are the main uh, main uh, organisms that contribute around 20 to 50 percent of oxygen in our air that we breathe so these guys are massive amount in lakes or river banks or in even uh, the sea the sea contains lots of diatom so those guys are the are the main contributors of oxygen in our air so uh that's i will leave that with you and thank you very much for watching this video i really hope it helped you and if it helped you please smash the like button and subscribe if you like if you like to see any other contents like this thank you very much